So hey everybody, we made a music video for the talent show and I wanted to show you a little behind the scenes of this video. <laughs> All right, so you may know that song, Walk Into L.A. We did Walk Into H.B., because our school is Hillbrook, and we needed two letters. So it started off in Logic Pro and built the entire song from scratch. So I grabbed our original one, figured out just a quick Google search that we're in the key of G minor. And what I love about Logic Pro, among so many things, is that the tempo, I can adapt the tempo. So this is measure one, and it grabbed that from the song, measure five, perfectly in time. So this was recorded in the early 80s, uh, probably not to a click track, looks like it was actually not to a click track, and the tempo um, shifted, and I was able to actually play along with it, both to, to learn the song, to record the song, and then to go back and forth between the original and the, uh, the recording we have, to get the tones just right, and get it as close as we can to the original. So this is the original. <laughs> And let me show you a little bit of how we built it. So I just used the built-in drummer track from Logic Pro. GarageBand has the same thing. So, so cool. And the the stock drummer, like the, the first one you get, just sounds great. You can play with this grid to try and have it match a little bit better. Each section I had is going to look a tiny bit different with the drums. Um, but yeah, for the most part, the drums just sounded great right out. Um, if we just go kind of top to bottom, here's the bass that I recorded. I use a synthesized bass um, to try and get it just close to the, the original one. Try to EQ it to match here. Nope, that's not what I wanted. If I double click here, you can see the notes I played. All right, let's listen to those just together. Awesome, right? Keyboards, let's open up this group and look. Quick Google search taught me that the OBXD synthesizer is what um, what they used on this recording. So I was able to find um, a synthesizer as a plugin, played with just all the different sounds, um, and found one that sounds pretty close. Here's the synth by itself. Drums and bass. pretty close there. As it turns out, I play guitar, so I was able just to add guitars as well. And so now we have drums, bass, synth, and guitar. Here's our intro. So far, so good, right? Sounds awesome. Um, what else do we have in this track? When we jump over to measure nine, we have our verse the other thing I love about this is I could just go to our arrange track and chop it up because the original song was not, how long is it? Beats in time was not a minute, four seconds long, but that's how long we wanted it to be for the talent show. So I could just chop it up very quickly. Intro, verse, chorus, outro, uh, and we're good to go. So if we go to Jamie, one of the big differences between Logic Pro and GarageBand that I like is that you can actually comp vocals. So every time you see one of these lines, that's a different take. And so one of the things we were trying to do with this video is have it be a light lift for teachers. Because as it turns out, teachers are um, having a tough time. There's so much, so much on teachers' plates, and I did not want to make a talent show act be another part uh, another ask for them. So the idea was, can you spend 10 seconds walking? You know, even it was just like, hey, you know, I'm, I'm going to my car. Can I film you skateboarding to your car? Yes, great. I'm teaching a class. Can I just walk with you to class? Yes, done. Um, with the exception of Jamie and Brian. So Brian did backing vocals, Jamie sang. Uh, but even with that, it was just like sing through, the verse five times and we're going to comp it and make sure we have a good take same thing with the chorus every time you see one of those lines that's a new take uh, and then we we spent a little bit more time on the outro because there's a there's a couple of her going so here is let's go back and listen to that original shall we let's hide all the vocals 
Here's our original verse. <laughs> And let's keep that muted. Here's our version. I also love that I was able to, to play a little bit with the guitars. Um, I love that I don't even need to use my own amp. Here's that one melody playing. And we're off to the races. So I think I walked you through a little bit. I could talk about Logic Pro just for so long. Um, this is how we built that, exported that, and brought that over to Final Cut Pro. And I just filmed a bunch of different groups. The great thing about the music video is that we, uh, we chose not to have like a band sing along. So it's just a lot of getting people walking. So let me see. Let's just hide that volume. So we have maintenance team walking back, third grade team walking, there's Helen, our librarian, junior kindergarten, of course had to be cute, there's Greg skateboarding, we looked at that earlier. You know, and sometimes walking up to Marchmont, we actually walked up Marchmont Drive. Um, there's, by the way, that's Jamie and Brian who sang on this, but it was sometimes literally just, you know, seconds of people waving. Um, one of the other things I love about what we ended up doing is um, I was able to, to get something from Motion VFX, a plugin called Music Video. And so I use this one a lot where it'll change the colors. That's a LUT, L-U-T, which stands for lookup table. It, it's basically just a preset. So you get these really cool looks with very little effort. Here's another one that looks great with kind of the light leaks some film grain. So I played with this one right here a lot just to very very quickly get me a pretty cool effect without having to spend too much time on it. So here is the original and here it is with the LUT. You can see how like the ground, the greens become red which is pretty cool. And then here's the original third grade walking kind of underexposed and ran it with purple this time. There's the purple again. And then here's what I love about this motion VFX is that we actually get the uh, karaoke style closed captioning. And this is keyframe. So if I click on this, I was able to just type in the text. And then right over here, you can see it animates in. I could keyframe the color. And so as time goes on, drop my mouse right here depending on the percentage of animation, I can change my color. Let me undo that because I want to leave it the way it was. Um, and so as they, as Jamie sang, I could animate that. So captions are important for accessibility. Anytime you're doing videos, please, please, please add captions. But this wasn't just about captions. It was also trying to get that music video kind of karaoke sing-along. And so that Motion VFX um, plugin for music videos, typography, the subtitles, you can see there's a handful of different subtitles we could use. This is one we did, only with Hillbrook's Blue. Here's another different version of it <laughs> with some cooler animation. So you get all these different ones with the size going. You could do all of this if you want inside of Final Cut Pro, but doing it um, with this music video plugin, my goodness, so much faster. Let me zoom out a little bit. And you can see the whole project. The other thing I did is I dropped this little rectangle. So it's a little bit easier to read behind it. And that's our video. Should we watch the whole thing? Yeah, we should. Let's watch it in Final Cut Pro so you can see a little bit behind it.
All right, so that's the video. There's one last thing that I really liked. There are a couple different spots that I think this is the best example of it where we speed ramped. And so it goes really fast right there and then back to regular motion. Check this out. Maintenance team and then Chef Junior. You see that like on what, CSI Miami? Um, yeah, and so that was just speed ramping doing custom speed. Um, and that's the video using Logic Pro, Final Cut Pro. Um, teachers just had to walk, a couple of us sang, played some instruments, and, uh, and that's our project. So if you have any questions, leave it in the comments. Otherwise, you know, like if you've not done something like this, jump into it. This is a fun time to write some songs, write some parodies, and, uh, and make some music videos for your students.